The Duchess of Cornwall has spoken of her newfound passion for New Zealand following her trip here with Prince Charles last year. Camilla was speaking to a meeting of New Zealand women who had gathered to mark Waitangi Day. Europe correspondent Melissa Davies was there and joins us now. Melissa, did she make any comment about Waitangi Day itself? Well, not specifically, Sasha. She did make a short speech just thanking the New Zealand Women's Association for having her there. But what she did do was initiate a hongi. Now, you may find that a little hard to believe, but how it came about was um, she was talking to uh, Esther Kerr Jessup, who was the president of Ngāti Rānana, the London Māori Culture Group here. And um, Camilla was saying that when she was in New Zealand, she was pressing noses with people, and she asked if that was an appropriate way to greet uh, Esther. And so they did. They did a hongi, and it was at uh, Camilla's request, I guess. And then she kept talking about New Zealand. She couldn't stop talking about New Zealand. So do you think that means she'll visit New Zealand again sometime soon? She did say that she wanted to. Um, she said that the reason she'd left her first visit so long in the first place was because uh, she thinks that uh, aeroplanes are not her favourite thing in the world, is what she said. Um, but whether she's able to visit in the near future, I don't know. It was recently announced that uh, the Queen is passing on more of the royal duties to Prince Charles, so he may be kept quite busy here. The meeting uh, today, though, was, was really... It was to mark Waitangi Day, because of course it is still the sixth here, but it was to meet um, a lot of the women that are over here from New Zealand who have found success here. There's Hayley Weston who was there. She's, of course, just returned from getting married in New Zealand. Um, there was also Monica Galetti, who is better known as the fearsome uh, co-presenter on MasterChef over here. And an artist, uh, Mandy Pope, who was doing a live painting while she was there. She was painting Clarence House, which is where Camilla lives. And outside in this painting, she had the Queen's Garden, also a Māori warrior. And she asked Camilla to contribute to the painting. So Camilla painted in a few of the windows, and it's going to be auctioned to charity. Excellent. Now, other news over there.